Hello, welcome back to my video. Well, we know it's going to happen when you live this kind of lifestyle, is that the shit will hit the fan, and it definitely hit the fan. Um, I can't access my internet banking at all. It's been over two weeks. I have phone Westpac. Um, Westpac is a New Zealand banking company. Um, one of the major ones. Uh, another major one is ANZ and um, yeah, Kiwi Bank, I think. But yeah, Westpac, very common bank to be with. Uh, other people from around the world that's living abroad also can't access their uh, internet. I went on to, to their Facebook uh, web page and um, look at all the comments and people from Singapore, Bali, UK, America, Italy. They can't get in for over two weeks now. And yeah, really frustrating, but I guess the way that I'm living now, it honestly doesn't really, shouldn't really affect me because one thing I've noticed uh, recently is that I have been living without a few things. One, um, my my email. I don't get any emails anymore. <laughs> um, so that's a good thing actually. I feel so free and, and yeah, just not clogged up with any emails. So I don't get any, any, any emails. I don't get any phone calls. I don't get any texts. To be quite honest, if you say what address do you live in, I would have no idea. I don't, I don't know what address I live in. Um, it's not like, it's not, this, this road doesn't have a street name or a street road. It goes by code. So it might be something like M5, then the number, and then it's the town or the village or the suburb or the province. Um, but honestly, I don't even know where I live. <laughs> so, and for some people that might be a bit odd to not know where you live or not know your phone number. I don't know my phone number off by heart. It's all written down somewhere, yeah. What I've done recently is that every transaction that goes into my bank, I've canceled it and put it into my wife's bank. Anything that's going out, which is really not much, there's just only two things that I pay for which is the UFC fight subscription. Um, yeah, that's a monthly fee. Gotta have some kind of sport to watch, you know, around here. Otherwise you'll be bored. And then just uh, deposit into my saving account so we can collect that interest at the end of the year to help us live this lifestyle. So um, once a month, um, every month, my wife will just deposit, let's say, $50 into my account and that should just take care of, it, of itself. So, um, yeah, so from now on, I don't need Westpac. Um, I do go back to New Zealand in April once I'm there to visit my family and my, my brother and friends and stuff like that. I will cancel Westpac's account and just move into a a better a better banking system the reason why I'm doing that is that um, you try to contact this company and say I've got a problem I've got a problem when is it going to be fixed and they don't give you an answer they give you the dumbest excuse the dumbest reasons and um, and what other people been doing is they're trying to find information so they've been going on to their Facebook page and commenting and what Westpac has been doing is they've been deleting all these comments with all these people with problems. So you you go there and you'll find, okay, this guy commented one hour ago and then you go back the next day, it's been deleted. But that's how you know that, oh, it's not just happening to me, it's also happening to somebody that's in... Uh, Malaysia or Singapore um, that's how I know it's been out so yeah um, so right now I personally don't need to use that bank account for a while and um, yeah I'll get that sorted when they sort it out really a shame it's just um, I kind of knew it was gonna happen 
because um, you know if, if you know New Zealand if you know New Zealand you know New Zealand takes a long time to sort something out <laughs> um, and it's just always been like that for years and years so yeah um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it just wanted to share that that story that most of the Westpac customer that's living overseas their internet has been out for over two weeks coming up to three weeks now and I'm guessing it's gonna be another week and another week because New Zealand trying to sort out something never is in a rush um, besides from that everything here is good we are doing some renovation around the house we're finally putting the finishing touch on some fences uh, for our fencing for that house so if you want to hand over that way yeah so um, yeah I mean everything's all good the kids are back to school hooray I've got free time oh three weeks holiday is too long two weeks is okay but three weeks is just way too long to look after two kids I'm bored I'm hungry I'm bored but yeah they're finally at school and we'll start off our um, exercise with our taekwondo next week all right thanks for watching